This is a remake of a classic educational game on the Commodore 64. In this video you learn how to use Python to recreate this game. You get an insight in graphics, input and game logic. Meet Alex. Alex is a programmer and just bought a new keyboard. He proudly shows his keyboard to his friends. His best friend Sarah noticed that Alex only types with two fingers. She said he could type much faster if he uses all ten fingers. So he learns the placement of the ten fingers on the keyboard and wants to try it. He remembers that his old Commodore 64 had a practice game for this. In this game, words scrolled over the screen that had to be typed away before they would hit a laser. But this game does not seem to exist for modern computers. So what do programmers do in that case? They build it themselves. For this, Alex will use Python and Piglet. This video is part one of a series. In this part you learn how to install Piglet, create a window and put some text on the screen. Let's go! Alex starts by creating a virtual environment. He then activates it. And Pip installs Piglet. He creates a single script that will hold all the code. Alex starts with a renderer class that will do all the drawing on the screen. Class renderer inherits from a piglet window. Alex needs to import it. Game frameworks try to render as many frames per second as possible. In piglet the windows class calls a draw function for each frame. Alex needs to implement it and starts by making the screen black each frame. This should create a black window. Alex creates an instance of the renderer class. And finally he runs the game loop. For this he imports the run function. And now he can test. Very nice! From here Alex can add game elements one by one. He creates a function to put characters on the screen. For now the word will appear in the center of the screen and is hard coded. Alex needs to import label. After drawing each character, the X value is increased. After creating the renderer class, the start function is called. Alex extends the draw function to also draw the characters. And he tests the game. Yep, that works. But look at the space around the character I. This is a proportional font and Alex wants it to be monospaced. He looks for a font online and finds Jostix. This is a font you can use for free in your projects and I'll put a link to it in the description. Download this or any other font you like to the project folder. With the font in the project folder, Alex can use it. He loads the font in the class initializer. Font needs to be imported and used in the label. Alex tests the game. And now the text is rendered with a custom font. Alex created a window with text on it. The text is rendered with a custom font and now it's time to create the game logic and type the text away. And to see how that works, click on the screen right now and we'll see each other in the next video.